What's going on, y'all? This is Nick with Bear Family Farms. Today we're doing a little aerial view of the pasture that we've got the Billy Kids in. It's about 10, 12 acres of heavily wooded pasture, as you can see. We're in the middle of January here in Texas, and we haven't had much rainfall in the last three months in our area. And um, just wanted to show you guys what a 9 to 12-month-old Billy Kid, pure Spanish Billy Kid, in our eyes should, should look like uh, on little supplementation. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and tell you that we don't feed our goats. Uh, we do supplement these goats about uh, half pound to a pound per head per feeding, and they're getting about one or two feedings per week. Uh, and a lot of that is so we can keep them a little more docile. It helps us uh, sometimes. You know, we're a one, two person operation most of the time. It's it's one person, me or my wife, moving these goats on our own, and we need them to be a little more handleable and not so wild when moving them from one area to the other, especially when they can be miles apart. Um, I guess one of my biggest pet peeves is when you go to somebody's uh, area that's advertised that, you know, they've got pure 100% range forage goats that uh, that get out there and survive, and but then you get there and you're seeing obvious signs of, of being fed heavily, i.e., creep feeders, bunk feeders, you know, all, all those obvious signs of being fed out. Um, and then it hurts new producers when they're expecting to get, you know, those range goats and, and they get them home and they fall apart because they're not getting the feed that they were getting at their previous place of residence. Not to mention, whenever you feed a goat heavily like that, you know, you're doing a disadvantage to that goat. You know, their teeth are getting wore out sooner. They're breaking down sooner, you know that that Billy Goat or that nanny's not going to last you as long as as you're expecting it to. But and in here we're, we're you know we're after longevity. We want these animals to last you know longer than seven eight years. We want Billies to be breeding you know seven eight nine years of age you know with no problem, not breaking down, not not dying and and stuff like that. Uh, so, but that's not really what we're after here and at Barry Femi Farms. We we like to be honest and and we're not uh, afraid to share our true management practices. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to go down here and, and take a look at, at some of these kids and, and what they're looking like. There's a few in there that are a little bit younger, and then there's one that's a, that's a herd size, about three or four years old. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's go down here and take a quick look, guys. Another look at some of these Billy kids here. Uh, he's a lot younger, as you can tell, and so is that black one there. But All these other ones, they're relatively mm, right around 12 months, right under 12 months. And they are looking pretty darn good. Um, there's Kerjack. Those horns got spread. But uh, he's we've been keeping a close eye on that guy there. He is just he's gorgeous. Look at him. You can't can't get much prettier and better than that right there. Um, all these guys, they got exactly what we're looking for. Everybody's, each one of these are a little bit different uh, in character, and we believe these guys are going to be some some herd sires one day. Um, yeah, just look at those horns, guys. Look, look at that, look at that outward growth of that horn, the flatness of these horns. Uh, that black one there is a little younger, but uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. And one day these these billies will will look like that there. But, uh, get a good look at them all there. Look at those horns on him. Perfect. Does not get much perfect on a, on a young Billy kid than that right there. High hopes for that one. That's Bruce. For you guys that don't know, that is Bruce, son of, son of Mac. Mac. 